So you might be thinking to yourself, where would I ever use volume? Why do I need to know how to find volume? Well, for instance, you might need to use volume here, 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 or here. So this is why volume is important. You are going to use it constantly. So let's get to it. So let's talk about volume. Volume, and more specifically, volume of a rectangular prism or a cube. So what is volume? So volume is how much it can, can it hold. How much is it capable of holding? So the first thing we're gonna start with is the units of measure. So units of measure, units of measurement. So when you think of this, think about area. So when we talked about area, we talked about, you know, if we had a square unit, we can give it, it's a two dimensional figure. We had, let's say this was one centimeter and one centimeter. Find area, we did centimeter times centimeter. And so we ended up saying this was one centimeter squared. Let me say, one centimeter squared. So if it's one centimeter squared, that's two dimensionals. We're two, two dimensionals. So cube, on the other hand, or a volume, so our, our volume is gonna add another dimension to that. We're gonna go to three dimensional. So let's draw our square like this, and we're gonna draw lines up. Up, and it's gonna make it look like a cube, right? So if we had this was one centimeter, and this is one centimeter, and it was one centimeter high, so we had our base here, just like we did our area, so which was one centimeter times centimeter, this one's gonna be centimeter times centimeter, and we can even say that's our area right here, so this is area, times the height. So this is another centimeter, so this is one times one times one, which is gonna be one centimeter, and now this one is gonna be cubed. So this one's a three dimensional, I mean two dimensional, so it's squared. This one's three dimensional, it's cubed. So now we have, so it, it, and now this one is one centimeter cubed. Now it can be, it can be any unit of measurement, but, any unit of measure, but will be measured with cubes. So we're gonna find volume with these cubes instead of squares, like the area with squares. Volume is gonna be cubes. So, can, so. Can be any unit of measure, but will be measured with cubes. So what is our formula? So let's do our volume formula. Well, you have two formulas that you're gonna see. The first will be Length, length times width times height. Just like this, or you might see something like, you might see something like base times height. This is going to be the area, length times width is the base times the height. Think about, we have our first layer. If you think about volume in layers, you have, you have your base, which is gonna be the area that we've covered already, and then you have your height. How high is it? How many of those layers of cubes do you have? Whether they're inches, centimeters, feet, yards, miles, how many layers do you have? That is what the height is. So we're gonna area, or base, times the height. So let's take a few. So let's say we have this rectangular prism, and so I'm gonna draw my face for it right here. Do, 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 do. So I have my face here. And then I'm going to draw a line up, line up, line down, line down. Oh, I gotta get a better angle there. And so now I have my rectangular prism. Pretend this is perfect, I know it's not, but it's okay. Let's say this was three yards here at the bottom. This is six yards here. So my this will be my base. This is what it's sitting on. And then it's three yards or three layers high. So my formula would be volume equals three times six times three. Length 
times width times height. Or if I wanted to, my base would be what's just three times six. Well, three times six is going to be 18. So I'm gonna say 18 times how many layers? Three. So my base times height. Or if you look at this, it's the same thing. This is the area times the height. So what is my volume? Well, let's go ahead and figure this out. You can probably figure this out. So 18 times three. Three times eight is 24. Put the four down here. Two. Three times one is three plus the two is going to be five, so 54. So my volume is 54 yards, don't forget my unit of measure, yards, and then it's cubed. Because we're measuring with cubes, we are going to use that three. So we're measuring with cubes. So 54 cubic yards. So 54 of those little cubes of yards. Oh, they're so cute. All right, so now let's say, what if we had a cube? So this is one. So now we're doing a cube. So a cube, I went to see, looks square on all sides. Except it may look a little different, but it's the same measurement. If I turn this square, no matter which way I turn it, it's going to have the same, you know, so let's say it's four meters, four meters, and four meters. That's a cube, because it's all the same. Same basic formula, we have our volume, which will be either it could be four times four times four, or it could be my base, which is four times four is 16 times four. So my area, or the base, area of the base, times the height. How many layers is it? So four times, let's try it. 16 times four. Four times six is 24. Four times one is four plus two is six. So it'd be 64, don't forget my unit of measure, which is going to be meters here. 64 times, or 64 cubic meters. So that's just 64 of those little cubes inside there. So the bottom layer, if you think about it this way, the bottom layer, the area has 16 cubes. It takes 16 of those cubes to make up the bottom layer. And we have four layers making 64 in Total, total. Let's do one more together. And you may see it, you might even see something like this. They look like this, and they have a line coming up like that. And so it's kind of like we're looking at it at a corner. This is another way to draw these. And again, not the best, but you get the idea. So it's kind of the same. All right, so fifth, let's say this is 15 feet. This is 10 feet not really done well to scale, but let's say this is nine feet, okay? So we have our volume, which is going to be 15 times 10 times nine, or our volume, what's the area of the base? What's the base? Well, 10 times 15 is going to be 150 times nine. Why don't you go ahead and figure, pause, figure this out by yourself and see if you can get it. So let's go ahead, uh, you should have had 150 times nine. Nine times zero is zero, nine times five is 45. Nine times one is nine, plus four is 13. So we have 1,350 cubic feet. Don't forget that unit of measure. So that is how we find volume. So let's go ahead and have you do some on your own. So for your left side activity, let's think about this. Let's start with this, this rectangular prism here. Let's say it's four inches by two inches. That's gonna be our base, four inches by two inches and three inches high, so three layers of that. So what would your volume be? You can solve it using the length times width times height or you can think about the base times height to find that volume. Next, we have 15 centimeters long, three centimeters Ha, three centimeters wide, so 15 by 13 is going to be your base times the height, how three layers, centimeters. So what is that volume? And notice I put this one kind of on an angle so you can kind of see it. And last, the challenge problem, ooh ha ha ha. Our challenge problem is going to be this rectangular prism. Let's say you have four yards wide, 12 yards long, so that'll be our base. 
So if your base is four by 12, and then you don't know the height, so our height is missing, but then you have 240, so 240 yard, cubic yards is your volume. So if you know your volume, and you know what the base is going to be, how many layers, or how high is your prism? How many layers is that? So use inverse operations to find out this challenge problem, figure out what the height would be. All right, guys, that's it. That's all I have for you. Thanks. Great job.